NHC TV. Hi everyone, it's George here. I hope you're doing okay. Uh, welcome to the quarantine episode of NHC TV. Today on Curious George, I'm going to be figuring out how to become a DJ. Bum, bum, bum. Logic is something where you can record whatever you fancy. You can write something. So I could go, look at that, listen to that. Brilliant, lovely stuff. I'm going to completely make up a DJ dance track, as weird as it can be, right in front of you right now, only using the loops package on, on Logic. Here we go, I'm going, to, I'm going to just try it. First off, cushion. I need to think, what would a DJ do? What would Curious George DJ do? A conga groove. Maybe it should start like that. Oh, okay, that's beautiful. I'm going to go really weird with this, so I'm going to go for a bit of an organ. Don't eat your heart because I can't produce. We're just slowly build it and then what we're going to do is we're going to get it to drop and then we're going to hit them with the explosive. Oh, bass, synth bass. We're going to add this in, see what this sounds like. Get, get in my track. I don't know if you guys remember, uh, I had an old video about four years ago on our videos called DJ George. He's making a return here because we need it to kick in a bit more after a couple of beats. That's brilliant. But that's what I dreamed of last night when I knew I was going to make this video. No, brilliant. George, come on. That's where it's going. I need to find myself. <laughs> no. This is going to be beautiful. You wouldn't, you'd never see this coming if you were in a club and this came on. So this is what DJ George does. He specialises in this. He makes you think something's going to happen and then... Bang, something else happens. We need a big drum. I said a big drum! No, a big drum. Oh, you b That's beautiful. That sounds pretty cool. Hello everyone, welcome to Blake's Makes. I'm joined by my sister, Abby. Hello. We're gonna be doing it in classic NHC TV style. We're gonna be drawing self, well, not self portraits, portraits of each other. Got a lovely bit of card. card for you. We're gonna give each other, have you got your phone? We're gonna give each other five minutes. Five minutes each to do the best portrait. I think you're gonna do better at this. Do you think? Because you did a thingy recently, didn't you? You did your um, Disney's drawings. Yeah. And they're like, you could just do it like loads of different kinds of Disney. You could draw me like a Disney character. That is true. That is true. But we'll find out. Um, By the way, I did not do GCSE art before we start. Just want to say that before we start. I did. Okay. Just want to make it clear. Bit nervous. Okay. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. What rubber? I'll turn it over. Can you swear in, please, Abby? Sorry? Abby, swear it. <laughs> oh, this is bad. How do you know I can, I can I can work around what I've just done? I can't. Oh, yours is quite good. I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> She's a cocky player as well. How high up are you? This is Blake in summer. I've decided. Why summer? Because you've got freckles. <laughs> <laughs> Blake only has, has one ear like Van Gogh. <laughs> Favourite thing to do whilst being quarantined? Drawing. Watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, I'll go quick fire out. Okay. Night or day? Day. No. No, no, I don't know. Sorry, both. <laughs> right, great start. Favourite colour? Pink. What do you want to be when you're older? An actor. I'm in my third year at drama school, so I would love to be an actor. What kind of actor? I want to do everything. I want to be on stage and I want to be on screen as well. I want to mm -hmm. do the whole thing. I don't want to be limited to nice. one thing. And hence the name has changed on Instagram. She's very good, I'll give her that. <laughs> if you could meet someone that's dead, who would you choose to meet? I'd probably say Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. I feel like she'd have a lot of wisdom. Living. It'll have to be Jennifer Aniston. Superpower, what would it be? I'd prefer to just have magic and then I can have loads of different powers. Yeah. You'd have the ability to be a wizard. We're, we're really breaking the rules right here. I'm finished. What's your favourite TV quote of all time? My favourite Friends one is when Ross does his L-O-V-E thing. L is for 
Life. Life. And what is life? Life without love. Oh, who is for? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Please, for how very normal this, this is. is. <laughs> so good. All right. Three, two, two one. one. My face isn't that wide. My lips are huge. Well, it's a cartoon. I like it, though. It's like, it's a bit Simpsons esque. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I could do. No, it's cute. I think mine's better though. He he basically did me to size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I think it's pretty it's pretty spot on. All right, mum is here. Hello. All right, three, two. <laughs> mine's, mine's mine's a bit small. Hmm. <laughs> I think Blake's got more the essence of Abby. Are you joking? It does look more like you than yours, than mine. Yeah, because that doesn't look like a <laughs> <laughs> It's supposed to be a portrait, so I kind of lost on that, I suppose. Okay. Well, if it's a portrait, then the no, there there's only one then portrait. Abby, because it's the only self-portrait. Or the only portrait there. And also, you see how he's done my hands? You can, yeah. win, you can win the portrait, but if you have to rate him out of 10, what are you rating him? <laughs> You're being mean here. As I say, obviously Abby's because of the, it is a portrait. And yours is like a caricature, like you can imagine that on a little cartoon strip. Well, <laughs> it's like picking your favourite child. <laughs> well, no, you've won, so... You... Abby has won, but I have to say it's... <laughs> five out of ten. <laughs> for lightness. Five. Five. Don't give me a five as well, yeah. It's going <laughs> to... It's gonna have to be, yeah, it's gonna have to be, yeah, joint fives out of ten. Right. Both, both of you no, got, right, you, you, didn't both you, the, you didn't meet the criteria either, you, but you won because yours is a portrait. Do we beat year six? No, I've got children who draw better. <laughs> better oh, you. wow. Seven, then I'll go up. Seven, seven and a half. Fine. Right. Okay, I'll be around with that. <laughs> Just wondering why I'm in. So you deserve that 0.5, seeming so you, you actually took it to GCSE. So you, you have it. There is shade. You have it. The shade. He shaded. He obviously learned that when he was in, when he was 15 and 16. All right. Okay. Peace out. Hello, it's Reese with Poetry. You thought you'd seen the last of me. Well, you have not. And guess what? I've had an outfit change. I'm looking dapper now. Mostly I lost the jacket, but hey, don't worry about that. Today, we're talking isolation. Isolation, what people doing in isolation, how are people getting by? This is weird times for everyone, but everyone's finding their own ways to get by and entertain themselves. So I've got two very important sources, very hard to get a hold of, to check what they've been doing to get by in isolation. I am joined by Betty and Bobby. Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, just a few quick questions. What are you guys doing to get by in isolation? Oh, Bobby seems to be doing some kind of dance. Betty's now joining in with this dance. I think what they're trying to say guys is keep high spirits and make sure to always dance and try and bite each other. But seriously though guys, I hope that everyone, they're still fine in the background. I hope that everyone is enjoying themselves and keeping entertained and spending quality time with family. Get creative, maybe learn an instrument or, or draw or you know, anything you want to do. Get creative because we've got all this time free. Uh, but most importantly, stay safe. Enjoy this time that we have because we might not have all this time to do what we want again. Much love. This was Reese Reports reporting. Thank you to my very special guests. They're still knocking around. Um, I love you all very much. Mwah. See you soon.
make you feel the groove. Watch it chop it up and make you feel so groovy. Watch it chop it up and make you feel the groove. Pennies on a dollar for a bottle of time. Two watch it chop it up and make you feel the groove. Watch it chop it up and make you feel so groovy. Watch it chop it up and make you feel the groove. Pennies on a dollar for a bottle of time. Two watch it chop it up and make you feel the groove. Watch it chop it up and make you feel so groovy. Watch it chop it up and make you feel the groove. And there we have it. DJ George, thank you for watching Curious George, and then it's your TV. See you soon.